Hey, what is up guys? F64 here and welcome back to another episode of Chill Build Sundays. So you can see right now that we are not actually on our uh, big old hotel map. Sorry, I'm messing with my microphone a little bit right now. Uh, we are actually in a build that I did a while ago. This is supposed to be a deathmatch arena. Uh, it's not quite finished, but I worked on this like, I believe, probably like six months ago. And I never actually finished it. It was it was going to be a pro, or uh, yeah, deathmatch for Pro MC. And I'm not sure why I never finished it. It's pretty damn close. Uh, but if we go down here, you can see, hold on, I'll show you. So these little, the like starting areas, this would open and you'd run out. Uh, I haven't finished those yet. I need to. Um, and yeah, I think, I think it turned out pretty nice. I don't know why I never did anything with it. Um, but I stumbled on it, upon it, across it, along it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've, I've been at work for like all day once again. So I'm tired of shit and I'm not going to make a lot of sense. Um, but I stumbled on this map in my worlds folder and... It's pretty neat. Uh, so you guys should let me know if you have any ideas how to finish this guy, because I feel like it's missing something. I like it, but I feel like it's missing something. It feels it feels too boring. Like, maybe some vines hanging down. Maybe some... I don't know. If you have any ideas, let me let me know. Uh, I'm thinking that I'll just post it to Planet Minecraft. Let anyone who wants to use it, use it. Uh, although, you know, it, ha it has something in the middle of it. Uh, it's not a tree, but just since there's something in the middle of it, it, it must be a ripoff of Hive. Uh, according to Mr. Mr. Just Hot Talk. So maybe I shouldn't put it up, period. <laughs> and also, it also it has gates. So, you know, I, I probably can't put it up because it's, uh, it's a copy of Hive. Also, we use grass blocks here. Hive used those first before, uh, before I used them. So really, really, I should just stop playing, playing games because, uh, Hive, Hive did it first. If you ever want to do anything, Hive, Hive did it first. But yeah, so I'm gonna hop over to my hotel world in just a second But I figured that I'd toss this up and see if you guys think that I should do anything with it Maybe I'll make this like specifically the deathmatch arena for the uh, for the hotel map that we're building Although it doesn't really fit the theme, but maybe for any map that wants to I can make like a deathmatch arena That's uh, fits to the same style as the hotel that could be pretty cool because like deathmatch arenas like this are really fun Just quick little builds have a have a good time doing doing something like this um, although even though this is like a quick small build, I still feel like it needs more. This took me probably like five hours to do, um, just cause there's like so many little details, like these little trees have stuff all over them, um, and lots of details, but I don't think it's finished yet. So let me know what you think. Also, let me show you this really quick. We will, we will hop over to the other world in just a second, but let me show you this. I don't know what that accent was. That was like Indian accent with like a lisp. I, that was fucking weird, but out here, so <laughs> it's underwater. That was the thing I wanted to go for since I was doing it for Pro MC and they have like a future theme going. I wanted to do that. Um, but you could, if you looked outside the dome, you could tell that the ocean was just flat all around it, which is boring. And during the day it was, it was, there was like too much light getting down there. So I built this giant freaking obsidian thing around it. I didn't build it. I world edited it and then, um, world edited it. That sounds so weird. And then uh, at the bottom to make it look like the sea actually goes on for a while. And no one's gonna notice this, but this is just like a little detail. Shut up, phone! That I that I thought I'd throw I'd show off. Um, is I built this around the edge. Can you guys see that at all? I'll gamma up this part so you can see it. But I built all this like the sand along the edges to make it look all like I don't know, like you were actually in like a crevice in the bottom of the sea or something. And if we go inside, you can like Hold on, let me bust back inside. You can, like, barely see that. Like, e only someone who's really looking for it would actually consciously notice that. But little things like that. I love doing little things like that. Like, see, you can just barely see it out there. Um, but yeah, little things like that, like little tiny details, I always feel like people will notice them, like, subconsciously. Like, as you're running along, here, you can kind of see that there's, like, sand out there that's moving. And I feel like subconsciously that just makes it a lot more atmospheric down here. And I dig it a lot. That's why I'm showing it off and talking about it. Uh, but you guys didn't watch me build this. You're probably not all that interested in this. So let's hop over to the other map and something that you're interested in. Also, these goddamn chickens. So chickens spawn on any clear block, which is weird as shit. Uh, so they spawn on leaves a lot. I don't know why that's how it's programmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. What do you think now? Oh god, I'm just making more chickens. Nope, we're gonna we're gonna lock them in here. Yeah, don't ever come out. <laughs> But yeah, that's annoying. I need to like disable spawn rates or something, but enough rambling about random things Let's hop over to the other world shall we 
Alright everyone, so here we are on the uh, Hotel SG Map world, uh, and a few things that I've noticed, hold on, hold on, let me show you this. So in my little like uh, speed build thing, what is that called, a time lapse, that little time lapse video that I did, uh, I built all the leaves on this, not all of them, There were there's gonna be a ton more up top, um, and unfortunately that actually got deleted. Um, because if you noticed in that video, I had two camera angles going on because I was using my camera account as like a, like a outside, like a, what's it called? An establishing shot camera. And then I was doing first person on my other account and I had, I had my computer, my one computer recording both of those. One game was on the top, my top monitor, one was on my main monitor and it was just a whole confusing mess. Um, but what happened essentially is I accidentally opened, um, so while I was, I, well, what the hell am I trying to say? <laughs> I don't I don't actually totally know what happened, but since I had two instances of the game running at that time, um, the, the the one that was running the LAN world actually ended up having its, its file overwritten by the other client, which didn't have the, uh, the LAN world build. If that makes any sense, I was essentially running this on a LAN world while I got those two camera angles. So unfortunately the leaves aren't there anymore, but the whole tree thing is so, or all, all the extra branches and stuff, they're still there, so don't worry about that. I'll just build all that stuff on off camera, uh, and I'll do pretty much exactly what I did in the time lapse, so you won't really miss much on that. Uh, and then I'll finish up this tree off camera, and it is going to look sexy as hell. Um, also, I had to get rid of the glass up there to get like the big establishing, establishing shot with my uh, camera account. And unfortunately, that made some ice start forming down here. So, before we do anything, and I do actually have some work to do in this video... Don't worry, um, before I do anything, let's go up here and build a giant glass uh, sphere to stop more ice from forming. And then we'll just do slash slash replace ice air. Um, uh, H, H, sill? How the fuck do you do? Slash slash sill. sill. I don't know how to do this. I'm gonna cut, I'll build a giant dome and I'll turn all the ice to water. And then we'll actually start the episode. Sound good? Okay, bye. All right, there we go. We got all of our uh, ice down here turned back into water, and I got a big glass thing up there, so that's all fixed. There's also some friggin' snow down here. I need to turn weather off. Actually, I think I did that while I was doing the time lapse. Uh, but yeah, so what we're gonna be doing today is working on our pool room here, which has been a little neglected as of late. Actually, not just as of late, it's been neglected, period. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna get some night vision, and then we gotta figure out what Cool, N nice work, me. Uh, we're gonna figure out what the heck we are going to do with this room. So, um, last time I worked on this, I did this little like window pattern over here with the big old, big old squares, which I still don't hate. I don't necessarily dig it, but I also don't hate it a lot. Uh, but one thing that I think we should try, hold on, let me figure out what block I should use for this. Hold on, you, you'll, you guys will see what I'm doing in a second. Maybe this, uh, give it some contrast. Let's put some of this in here. I really also, I used to love this spruce wood. Like spruce used to be my favorite wood, but now that dark oak is around, like this shit is just, it just feels outdated. I'm not sure about it. Um, so maybe we'll switch all that to spruce. I, I just felt like I'd used a lot of spruce in this build, which I have, it's, it's there's a lot of spruce because spruce is pretty. Um, but let's see how this looks. Just fill in all the spaces that are empty with quartz maybe? Might look, look somewhat good or it might look super dumb. We'll see. Um, so far it looks pretty dumb. I, okay, here's, here's the issue here, I think. I think I need to bring this up one. Yeah, let's bring this big window here up one so that it's not touching, so that the spruce wood here isn't touching the other window, because then there's no room for the quartz to go through, and that makes it feel weird compared to the other windows. But I think if there's quartz in between all of these, uh, just... Like, none of the windows are touching and there's quartz everywhere in between it. I feel like that'll blend it all in a lot better. Let's get that in there. I l I'd like to get some more depth in here. Um, I'm not sure how the heck to do that, though. Actually, I have an idea. We'll try that in a second. My favorite way of creating depth is always with stairs, all you guys know. Uh, I get some stairs in there because it, it's... It still fills up a whole block and so you can use it in a wall, but it, it's indented so it looks nice and sexy. Um, so... That doesn't look the absolute dumbest, so we'll go with it. Uh, hold on, let me fill this in. We'll go with it for now. I want to make this look uh, something other than dumb. That would be ideal. Um, let's see. That looks that looks like something. That's all right. Um, so here was my idea. What if we got some stairs of some sort? Not totally sure what kind. 
Give me some dark. Mm. I don't know, that might stand out too much. Or it might actually look cool with so many different colors going on. Just make it feel like very lively and like a lot is happening, which is kind of what I was going for in here. I want it to be very colorful, very nice. Um, which is like, it's weird having it so colorful on this wall and then having that being contrasted with the, uh, the background here like of just white and well actually there is quite a bit of color out there too but it, you can tell that it's like wintry and cold and then in here it's supposed to feel warm and nice which is just kind of a weird can can contrast a weird contrast going on uh, oh my god so on my TV behind me I I have a TV just to my left and back a little bit uh, if you guys have watched the downright dumb intro which I'm sure most of you have at least at one point um, there's the TV that we use for Downright Dumb, and I've, I've recently started using that as a fourth monitor, which is totally un- Shit, that's not gonna work. Totally unnecessary overkill. Maybe we could just have that filled in. Mm, that's- that's weird. That's- that's weird, to say the least. Uh, we'll try it. Maybe it'll look okay. But that monitor behind me, I've recently started using- or that TV behind me, I've recently started using as a monitor. And right now, I have, um, a stream open. The guy- uh, Tony of RS Gold, Glorian Gold, that's his clan. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have heard about that whole thing that happened with Keemstar. He reported a, a false story on on an older dude who just streamed Keem, or just streamed uh, RuneScape for fun. And it was a whole big thing. The old guy's like the friendliest dude. And he just streams on Twitch for fun and he's really fun to watch. Um, and essentially, uh, Keemstar, drama alert guy, I'm not... I don't necessarily dislike him a whole lot, but he really does need to be a lot more uh, careful about his reporting because he reported that this RS Glory and Gold guy, this guy named Tony, who's an old guy, really nice, um, streams RuneScape with, with a bunch of kids online. Not necessarily kids, just some fellas online who enjoy watching him. Uh, he does that for fun, and Keemstar ended up sending him a shitload of hate because he essentially uh, accidentally reported or falsely reported that Tony was a different fella. There was a fella who had been put in prison quite a few years back for uh, essentially luring kids in over RuneScape. And essentially Keemstar, drama alert, reported that this guy Tony was that guy who had started streaming RuneScape again to lure in children, uh, which was just really, really not cool and untrue. Um, and so the guy Tony, he originally, he, he at first started getting a lot of hate, um, and he, he was getting thousands of people in his chat saying all this really rude stuff, just terrible stuff, you know, hatred on the internet, um, and he really didn't deserve any of it, but luckily the truth got out that this is just a really friendly old dude who likes playing video games online, and uh, so now he's got a ton of support from all the people who realized that he was, he was not in the wrong at all. Um, that he's actually a really cool guy. So I've been watching his stream recently because he's just really a fun, fun dude to watch. He's, I believe, yeah, he's 62 and he's been playing RuneScape for a long ass time. I don't know exactly how long, um, but I've, I've played a little bit of RuneScape, but not enough to like understand very much, uh, but I still really enjoy watching him because he, he's, he's an older gentleman and he's like the most genuine dude ever and he just tells stories and stuff. Um, but yeah, I have that, I have that going on on my second monitor, it's paused and stuff because I'm recording right now, but before I started I was watching him, and uh, the chat is just going crazy spamming with with hearts. I don't know what he said in, in chat to get everyone to start spamming hearts, but it started going crazy and like flashing on the monitor behind me and freaked me out. Um, but yeah, everyone, you guys should all go check out this guy Tony. He streams RuneScape. If you don't, if you don't watch RuneScape, don't know anything about RuneScape, he's still really worth checking because he he just like tells stories from his life and stuff and hangs out with the viewers. And it's like he's like genuinely the nicest guy I've ever found on Twitch, and he deserves so much, so much support, which he's been getting. He used to get like I think like 50, 60 viewers a stream, which is pretty good. He he deserved that. Um, but now that all this stuff with Keemstar has blown up, and Keemstar has also apologized profusely, and he actually, uh, played some RuneScape with Tony just for fun, uh, and he, I think he's sending him to London? Keemstar is sending Tony to London to, uh, to, uh, uh, RuneScape Con or whatever it's called. Um, sorry about that, interruptions. Um, but yeah, everyone go check out Tony of RS Glory and Gold. He deserves a lot of support. And he's just a really fun guy to watch. And again, nothing against Keemstar. Like it was, it was really not cool of him to call this guy out. But he's made it right, so no hate towards him. Um, 
But yeah, I don't know why I went off on that little tangent. Um, damn it, and since I had to stop my, my recording there, I don't know how long I've been going. Uh, let's say, let's say that was five minutes. I don't know, I was on a tangent, so I really, really don't know. Mm, that doesn't look even, because that's like right up against that pillar there. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe we don't need like stuff in the corners. Maybe we don't need that at all. No, stop doing that. Uh, yeah, it might feel a little weird if some of the windows are coming right up to the corners. Um, but maybe not. Maybe if this whole thing was just a wraparound pattern. Mm, no, I feel like that's going to be ugly. You know what? I feel like I might just scrap this whole wall here because I'm... I like the concept, but in practice, I don't feel like it's working. So you know what, I'll work that out off camera. For now, let's work on our pool here a little bit. So let's start with, um, get some stone bricks. Give me them stone bricks, where are they at? Nope, not monster egg, don't do that. We'll get those stone bricks there. And then let's just start by making a border around the pool of stone bricks. Oh, cool, nice, nice work, me. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way to world edit this, but fuck it, I'm lazy. Actually, that is the exact opposite of being lazy. That's just... Laziness would be to do it all with world edit. This is just being stupid and doing more work. So you know what? Let's actually do this. I just realized how I would do this. Slash slash replace a stone brick. I think that's... Yeah, that does it. Sweet. And then we'll go from here to... Right there. Also, this is really interesting. So I don't... I think I did this on camera, but you see how there are like lines of um, uh, gravel here. God, I had to fucking get some of that stuff in my inventory to figure out what it was. But there are like lines of gravel that are like pretty evenly spaced, and it's really weird that that's how stuff generates. I think it might just be because, oh, hold on, last time, set day. Uh, I actually, I, I did all the like terrain and stuff in this world in world edit, not, what's it called? Uh, world Painter, that's the one, I think. Uh, I did it all on World Painter, so that could be why it's generating weirdly like that, but I don't know, that's just interesting. We could have pointed out, oops, no, wrong command. There we go. I also need to set it to be permaday, really, because I always just end up changing it. But those stripes of, uh, stripes of gravel there are giving me an idea, and I actually like that. It looks pretty nice. But what if we did something along these lines? Oh, yeah, hold on, I just had an idea. So you know how pools have, like, like little uh, drain things, or not not drains, just what what are they? They're like regulators, they're little holes to regulate the water and make sure it doesn't get too high. Um, you know, most sinks have one too. It's just a little hole in the back that stops it from overflowing. Uh, they have like little things like that on the sides and we should do some of those, kind of just add a little bit of extra detail to it. Uh, let's say every, how long is this? I want to make sure that it's even. Let's try every three blocks. I could count it and save myself a lot of troubles, but whenever I want to do like a pattern like this and I don't know how long the thing is, I'll just start doing random numbers of things until it, holy shit, that worked. Three, 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 three. Look at that, that shit worked out perfectly. And then we'll just do like pillars below that. Pillars of what block though is the question. What will you see inside of a classy pool? Probably some stained clay. That's kind of a kind of a color that you'd see. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, let's try something like that. That looks pretty good. I want to get some color in here, though. I want the pool room to just feel, like, super lively and nice in here because, like, the rest of this hotel is meant to be classy and, like, like kind of classy, kind of modern. I've said that before, but that's kind of the style I'm going for with this build. It's a, it's a unique style, and it's been kind of hard to do just because, like, this room has turned into more of a classic build, which I didn't really intend, but it works because it's, it's, um... It's the dining room. It's like a big classy restaurant. I also need to fix all these things saying null. And this does need a little bit more work. I do not like it in here all that much. Uh, it's it's not bad, but it's not as good as like this room. This room feels exactly how I want it to feel. Like like new, old, perfect combo. Um, it feels like that. That's what I want to do here. And that's kind of the style I want to go for the, for, for the whole... Oh my god. For the whole hotel. There we go. I said it. Ha ha. Um, but yeah, so in this room though, this is where like I am imagining parents like leaving their kids and stuff. So I think in here it would be more like specifically oriented towards kids. Damn it, my three, my every three blocks I do one strategy isn't working here. So how do we want to do it? Maybe there wouldn't be drains on these sides. Yeah, maybe there would just be ways to get out on these sides. Maybe there would be like a little, you know, those little things where you climb out. Um, 
Is that centered? Hold on, I think that's centered. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's not. Uh, so let's just add one here and an extra thing. Boop. And then that's where there will be like a little exit thing instead of there being these little drains. Uh, actually, this is seven, right? Or no, it's eight now since I changed it. Damn it, so I can't do drains properly. Maybe I'll just do wide drains on the end. Uh, yeah, that's even. Or what if I did something like this? I made this strip here a whole different material. Um, and then, like, let's say clay, something something colorful. We'll do yellow just as kind of a placeholder. Which blends in with the sponge, which you don't like. Uh, but I like that. I like the yellow clay. Like, the bright colors of clay always look the best to me. Um, so what if we did something like that? And then we could actually make this centered. And it is every three blocks, so it sticks with our thing. And then here, this would just be one of those climb out things so there would be like a ladder ladder and I'm not gonna leave this because for some fucking reason those mojang dinguses are more worried about adding swords and dual wielding or shields and dual wielding than uh, making water work with half blocks like seriously if I if I place some water if I get a bucket of water and I place it right there that shit should place not I mean it places but it, it should place right up against the stairs and the stairs should be able to placed under, be placed underwater. Not stairs. Uh, uh, ladders. But it holds true with stairs, too. That should, it should just fill in. I think there's visual mods that do that, but fucking just put it in the game already. That's so annoying. Um, so I'm not totally sure what I'll do there. Maybe, um, there's really not much I could do here that would look like a ladder. But actually freaking, oh, actually, maybe I could do a diving board coming up right here. That could be cool also. Uh, but there's not much I could do there that would look like a ladder, but wouldn't cause like weird air bubbles under the water and mess stuff up. Um, so let's see. Let's. What if I took some of this and I did a diving board? That would be cool. Yeah, this pool definitely needs a diving board, and it would be at the deep end. Like this is where it would be. So maybe we don't need one of those ways to get out. Maybe we'll do one of these, and we'll put a way to get out like there or something. So if one of them, one of them young wee lads swims into the deep end by accident, they can climb out. Hey! Don't get dark on me. I don't like that. Okay, there we go. Build that up a little bit more. Um. Oh god, my voice is dying. <coughs> I need something to drink. Um. Yeah, diving board right there. And what should we put in the middle? Uh, we used this. This light blue. No, that's not what we used. We used this in the pool. So maybe this will fit in. But no, this isn't going with that like lively color scheme that I want. Yeah, you know what? Let's replace all this clay with something bright. Clay. Some yellow. Yellow might... Cool. Just throw it out of your inventory, you asshole. Um, what if... <laughs> yellow might be a little bit too lively is what I'm what I'm saying. But, hold on. With blue in front of it? Um, and I think we'll actually have the water level be here. Uh, rather than up on this, this stuff here. Um, you know what? That's pretty good. And you can just see a little bit of the yellow poking up. And then if you're underwater, you can also see that it's yellow. Uh, and you can kind of see that it's yellow if you're standing on the edge. Uh, but the main thing you're going to see is just that top little highlight there. Uh, which is fine. I like that. I like that. So let's go with yellow. Um, usually I'd say that we shouldn't. But since there's going to be water filling this in, that's going to diffuse the color a little bit and make it not look so strong. I think that'll work out okay. Uh, so yeah, let's just go through and do that. I would do it with World Edit, but I don't know the code for specifically this gray wool. Or not wool, damn it. Stained clay. Huh, I'm, I'm still really tired. Usually when I've been working all day, my commentary is just, like, atrocious and it doesn't make any sense. Not atrocious, I guess, because a lot of you guys are like, you should never friggin' commentate when you're not tired because it's goofy and funny as shit. Um, but my commentary, I feel, has actually been pretty decent this video, uh, considering that I've been at work all day. Um, like, usually it's not at all. But it, I've still been having some little, some little dinks and dumbs. What the fuck is it? Dink and dumb. <laughs> It's like a Lincoln log, but with twice the dumb. Um, but but yeah, let's see how this looks. Boop, there we go. Nope, toss that in there. Toss that there, toss that there, toss that there. Bam! That looks pretty good. We need to get this wall sorted out. Um, but I think that's a good start. And I really like that these are like little drain things here. Uh, I wish... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Idea. Idea has hit me in... Nope, don't do that. So what if it was something more like uh, fence? What is the iron bar? That's it. 
What? No, God. Okay, what if it was something along the... Damn it. What if we did slabs around the whole edge here? No, that would look dumb, but I wish I could do something like that because that would look cool. Yeah, like, hold on. If I could do that and then that, that looks awesome. And then we put, like, stone around that. Nope, stop. Yeah, that looks really nice. I like that. Damn it. I wish there was a way to cover that. That would be really cool if I could. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Uh, if anyone has any ideas for how I could maybe cover that up a little bit and still have those. Like, maybe I could move it down one, but then it wouldn't really look like the little drain things that I'm going for. Um, but this also doesn't work, because that looks dumb. Maybe I could just put a slab. Slab? Nope, not slab. Maybe I could just put slabs, like these kinds, over every one of those? That actually might be kind of cool. What if it was, like, something along those lines? Because some pools, like, the drain things are, like, very visible. Like, they have a whole little mechanism behind them. I haven't been to a pool in forever because I hate water, but, um, I, I, I think I've seen ones where it's, like, it's a little drain thing, and then there's a whole, like, draining mechanism back here. Maybe it, it's something like that. I'm not totally sure. I think that looks all right. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out next episode. Uh, or maybe I'll do some work off camera. Definitely gonna do some work off camera on this wall, or maybe on stream over at twitch.tv slash f64. Uh, I want, I'm, I'm gonna start streaming over there more, and I wanna do some some uh, Chill Build Sunday stuff over there. So perhaps, if you follow me over there, you'll see me go live, and I'll work on this wall, or I'll work some more on the tree, which I still need to do some rebuilding on. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode, everyone. I've been building up to my outro for like ever now, talking about stuff that I'm gonna do next episode and everything. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. We didn't get a ton done today, but I think my commentary was pretty good. Hopefully, this is something for you to watch, sitting back, chilling on a Sunday. Oh, it's gonna be a pretty late unfortunately i wish i could get these up in the mornings but i just work on the weekends so it makes it tricky um but yeah hopefully you guys have all enjoyed be sure to drop a like if you have actually ratings will probably still be off be sure to uh i don't know you can tweet at me if you enjoyed it or if you have any comments comments might still be on i'm not sure i i kind of have to like feel out how many idiots there are going to be in the comments and enable it or disable it based on that uh, but yeah, be sure to do all that stuff. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Chill Build Sundays. Check out my Twitch, and I will see you guys in the next episode of whatever the fuck show this is. Chill Build Sundays. <laughs> Adios!